Welcome Trailblazers to today's tutorial where we are going to show you how to create a path. As a Salesforce admin, you always want to boost productivity and help your sales rep gather complete data during the sales process. So to help your agents, you can create different paths to guide them through the steps of a business process, such as working an opportunity from a fresh lead to a successfully closed deal. For each step, you can highlight key fields and include customized guidance for success. To start creating path, first enable path in setup. In setup, use the quick find box to find the setting for the path. Click enable. To let user decide if the path remembers its previous state, expanded or collapsed, select the remember user's path preferences. Otherwise, the path key fields and guidance are always hidden when the user loads the page. Most of the standard and custom objects are available to create paths, and for them, you can create one path for each combination of object, pig list, and record type. When creating a path, you can help your team celebrate their success by tossing virtual confetti when they reach a designated step. Tip here, celebrations don't work on the lead status converted. To create a path, follow these steps. In setup, with the quick find box, find the settings for path. Click new path and in the step one, enter the basic information about it, a unique name, select the object, the record type and the pick list to base it on. Tip here, if there is a path for a record type that you delete, that path will be deleted as well. Click Next. In the step 2, you can select the key fields and enter comment as success guidance. For each step of the path, you can select up to 5 key fields and up to 1000 characters of guidance. Click Next, and in the third step, you can activate the path and enable the confetti celebration animations. You can decide whether to activate the path immediately or to activate it later from the path setting. Um, for celebration, you can select the pick list values and the frequency for triggering that animation. So if the user reaches the celebration values often, then you may set celebrations to occur less often. For example, for a new business path where opportunities are hard won, you can select a frequency as always. Or let's say you have a renewal business path where users close a lot of opportunities if they. So for this, you can trigger the animation only on random closed opportunity by selecting often or sometimes. So click finish. For most objects, the order of the steps follow the order of the value from the pick list the path is based on. The last step represents a closed stage or a status. For example, in the last step of an opportunity path based on the stage field, by default the user select close one or close to last. On some other objects and fields, you can customize the field value represented by the last step of the path. Tip here, if your organization has a large combination of objects, record types, and big lists, the path creation can, can take a couple of minutes. Thank you guys for watching and let's keep blazing the trail side.